Breaking news out of Pennsylvania right now. A manhunt underway this morning after a police officer was shot and killed late last night. It happened in New Kensington. That's about 18 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. Officers from uh, neighboring towns are scouring the area looking for that shooter. Officials say the officer tried to make a traffic stop. That led to a foot chase, and that's when those shots were fired. They say the officer that was killed had been with that particular department for less than a year. Police found a brown Jeep Grand Cherokee in connection with that shooting. Cell phone video shows a raging apartment fire in New York City. The six-story building started uh, burning yesterday afternoon in the northern part of Manhattan. You can see the heavy flames and thick smoke right there. More than 200 firefighters were out battling this fire. Seven firefighters, a police officer, and one other person were minorly hurt in this fire. High winds, they've been a problem for firefighters. And right now, there's still a really big concern that that building could collapse. Fortunately, Ryan Seacrest, just the latest celebrity to face an allegation of sexual misconduct. The E-Network has confirmed it's conducting an internal investigation. A former wardrobe stylist who worked at E! News when Seacrest worked there reportedly made that accusation. Now, it's alleged to have happened about a decade ago. In a statement, Seacrest said the woman suggested he had behaved inappropriately toward her. He says, now if he made her feel anything but respected, he's truly sorry. New trouble right now for quarterback Jameis Winston, the Tampa Bay quarterback accused of groping his Uber driver. That driver tells BuzzFeed it happened at a drive through line. Winston denies the allegation. The NFL is investigating. Winston was also accused of assaulting a female student while at Florida State back in 2012. He was not charged. The clock is a ticking to meet the president's deadline on passing tax reform. Now all eyes on the Senate ahead of a holiday break on Capitol Hill. Fox News correspondent Allison Barber, she's in Washington with the very latest. Late Thursday night, Republicans on the Senate Finance Committee passed their version of tax reform. None of the Democrats on the committee supported it, and at times things got pretty heated. Just one day after lifting a ban on the importing of elephant parts shot 